welcome back to one more session of your metallurgy chapter so till now we have done learned the extractions of iron then we have proceeded to the extraction of aluminium now let us come back and discuss the complete detailing of zinc extraction so whenever we speak about zinc as i said <coughs> whenever you're speaking about a metal you have to first think about the extraction of the metal from the ore that is what we have learned it is an economical way of extracting metal from an ore so let us see what are the ores of zinc so when i speak about the ores of zinc we have <coughs> zinc blend this is the first ore which through which we are going to use it in the process that is the formula is zns then we are going to use zincite zn c i t e zincite that is zinc oxide i'm going to use this also later we are also going to use one more ore of zinc that is calamine that is your zinc carbonate so the from these are the three ores from which i can extract the metal we'll be following different procedures for extraction of metal so whenever we go in the metallurgy of zinc the first important step is we are going to take these ores and we are going to concentrate the ore so the concentration methods of zinc is done by a process called froth flotation method froth flotation method that is what is the diagram which i have drawn here so this is your froth flotation method from the concentration methods we are going gradually going to take it for two important processes that is roasting and we are going to take it for calcination for roasting and calcination roasting i'm going to take always sulfide ores roasting is done with the sulfide ores and calcination is always done with carbonate ores remember this after roasting and calcination we are going to take it for a process called extraction so whole i mean this is these are also part of extraction but we are going to further extract it by reduction process right so this extraction after extraction we are going to take it for refining in that refining we are going to do two types of two processes one is fractional distillation based on the boiling point fractional distillation and the second would be your electrolysis these two are the methods which i am going to explain so this covers the whole of zinc topic any question may be asked from any part of this particular topic so let us start with the first one so what am i going to do i am going to learn, take uh, these three ores and start with the first concentration method that is froth flotation method so let us write the heading for froth flotation so whenever we are writing froth flotation the key word which is present in the board marking scheme would be principle of froth flotation that is what is the heading the important uh, part so let us write froth flotation flotation method now for froth flotation method the most important thing is <coughs> yes as i said principle now as you have seen this is your froth flotation tank which they are going to uh, take it or uh, administer for getting collecting the ore so in froth flotation tank what what do you have basically a froth flotation tank as a rectangular vessel okay that we are not bothered about that most important thing is you have a rotating paddle here that is the most important thing in this apart from the frothing agents so this rotating pa paddle continuously keeps rotating or that particular ore whatever we have added so remember one rotating paddle to which air high pressure air is always circulated into the rotating paddle now what are we do we going to do from one side of the rectangular vessel we are going to introduce ore and oil right let us see what is that ore and oil why are we adding that and as i said this is introduced into the tank and this ore air as it enters into the tank the rectangular paddle keeps on rotating at high speed yes now we'll see what is going to happen inside the froth flotation tank now important thing is in a froth flotation method and the principle involved whenever you are writing that particular thing principle involved you have to write first important thing is preferential write this word that will give you the keyword whole topic preferential prefer preferential okay preferential wetting properties of the ore and gange particle gange particles with frothing agent frothing agents and and water okay this is what so what are we going to do we are going to basically pick up low grade sulfide ores so remember froth flotation method is basically administered for 
for what ores low grade sulfide ores so what are these so low grade sulfide ores are basically low grade means which are extracted from the earth's crust by mining right and later they're going to send it for smelting process that we have already learned it right? smelting uh, converting the uh, getting the metal from metal oxide okay so low grade is basically extracting the metals from that particular earth's crust so now I'm, I'm going to take these sulfide ores in frost flotation method and what concept I very well know along with ore you also have Gange particles the impurities now what is the concept we are going to take or we are going to wet both the sulfide ores and uh, the ore and the Gange now in this concept the ore particle gets wet with oil and your Gange particle gets wet with water based on this concept only we are going to take so that is why we wrote preferential wetting properties of ore that is with oil and gange particles with water you have to remember this so whenever we are taking sulfide ores right what are the examples your best self example is zns i can take pbs right <clears throat> uh, so your uh, zinc blend i can pick up galena lead ore that also i can also take cufes2 cuprite okay or uh, copper pyrites right huh? then i can also take iron pyrites fes2 all these can be used or these can be extracted or concentrated by this method next important thing for frost flotation method what what are the conditions or what what am i going to add the conditions are first important thing we are going to add different frothing agents which you have to write in the exam the first important thing which i'm going to add is collecting agent right i'm going to add this collecting agent the collecting agent which we are going to add in soft rotation is sodium ethyl xanthate this is the first collecting agent remember should do this particular thing i have to collect the ore separately isn't it now next important thing we are going to add very important agent that is froth like okay let us write froth first this is better froth we will add three types of frothing agents one is your froth stabilizers then i'm going to add froth you can write all the three i'm going to add frothing agents and also i'm going to add froth to float to make that froth to float about froth to float or floating agents floating froth to float or floating agents so the froth stabilizer which i'm going to add here is crisol crisol and aniline i'm going to add these two next important for the frothing agents i'm going to add pine oil for the froth to float above this layer i'm going to add lime and sodium carbonate you have to compulsory write all these sodium carbonate so one is a collecting agent so two is your frothing froth stabilizers this is your three this is your four all the four are done i'm going to add all now what happens once i add all these uh, four things into the container this air with high pressure is rotating or the paddle is rotating continuously the over and oil is introduced when it is rotated continuously the whole mixing part occurs in the particular tank once it is mixed what happens let us see this is one step this is the second step in the second step ore starts converting into colloidal particle all the ore gets the it forms a colloid you all very well know colloid isn't it Collide as an aggregation of molecules. Yes, so your oil gets converted into colloid when you are supplying the air pressure. Colloid when air is supplied over. So this gets colloid, and slowly, what happens? You know, because of these agents, froth stabilizer, frothing agent, froth to float, and all these, and the collecting agents which are there in this, they start collecting that froth, and they form, they get collected on the surface. So you know, you have all these bubbles, isn't it? This bubbles is is made up of, or it's containing the ore. Yes, whatever ore, sulfide ore, whatever is we have added. So now, in the third condition, is your fro your ore gets collected gets collected with oil and it floats and floats now what happened to the gange ma'am where is the gange now yes now the gange whatever is there the impurities they get wetted or they get mixed up with water that is your concept isn't it so ore gets collected with oil and floats and your gange 
gets collected with water and sinks ganges is here ore is here done now what do they do they going to collect this ore they going to dry the ore completely and once they dry the ore they going to collect that dried part and further send it for reduction or they further send it for no reduction i should not say i further send it for calcination and roasting correct so now your ganges is down ore is above that's done the final step is ore is dried and sent for roasting roasting and calcination that's it this is your froth rotation method your complete answer this is where you can get full marks